Now let's talk about control point curves specifically. Let's give us a little more room here. Here we have the control point curve. Now first let's look at our options. Control point curve, interpolate points curve, interpolate on surface, control points from polyline, sketch or sketch on surface, sketch on mesh, conic, tangent at start or at start and end, spiral or flat spiral, helix or vertical helix, parabola by focus, parabola by vertex, and conic or conic with a perpendicular at start. Now that's quite a lot of choices. But first what we want to do is get familiar with the basic control point curve. As I keep left clicking to lay down my points, the curve follows them, but not quite exactly, as you can see. It's sort of auto-smoothing as we go. By comparison, your curve interpolate points curve will curve through the points that you put down exactly, conforming to each and every point as you place it. This can make the curve seem more exact, but it's actually much harder to control. And then when I'm finished, right click. A curve can also be created around an object. Start of curve. As you can see, I'm not even permitted to begin the curve outside of the object. Right click. Now in our perspective window, it's an oddly shaped curve, but you can see indeed that it is conforming to our object or wrapped around it. So that's the basics of our control point curve.